get that first win, especially in a semifinal match. So we'll see who comes out first as Sham just drops one down and coming out hot. Yep, you know what? <laughs> Might have to be better than last. Hopeless, actually, Sham really positioning himself so well for that. <laughs> Flipping to get enough power what to dunk that goal. straight down. It's so difficult to shoot close post on those goals. So really well done for him. Yeah, giving Hopeless the edge here right in the beginning. It's a wonder. Good clear from him. This one's going to be actually on target. No, just a little bit wide. No one was home for that one. Stiff Wizard trying to clear this one out. Here comes Vortex now. Two whiffs on the Hopeless side. This ball just sitting in the middle. Finally, someone on better reverse getting to that one. Wonder dropping this one down towards the mid. A little bit of slow gameplay here as both teams... A little scared to push up the field. It's this one going all the way back towards the better in reverse half. Super Ron John getting a good clear out from his half, a good clear from him, giving his team some time to breathe as he gets the dunk on the defender, and that's going to tie it up. Dunk. Going for these dunks is so low percentage, but so important because just being able to block whatever these two defenders are trying to do is going to take them both out of position. And to score off it nonetheless, Super Ron John Really just bringing his team back in it. What a goal from Super Ron, John. A, reading that dunk perfectly as he ties this game up. Another shot coming up from Sham, and his aerials have just been so crisp already. Super Ron, John gets the dunk, but Vortex dunks back as he tries. Sham tries to knock that one down. He almost gets the double tap. It went back to Vortex, dropping Ooh, it in, but preamble. preamble getting in the way of that one. This is all out warfare right now. Wonder trying to get on the edge of this one. He does finally get there, but Stiff Wizard beating it in goal. The flick on from Vortex, not the best, but followed up by the hit of Preamble. Out to Ron John, who plays this one all the way back towards the goal. Stiff Wizard able to clear that one away, and a good touch by him. Able to follow this one up. Out to Vortex, and he put a shot on net. He does. Preamble gets the save, though. And follows it up, finally running out of boost. What a touch from Super Ranjan as well. Able to get so much power on that, forcing the goalie to actually just sit and wait patiently for that to come to him before he can contest. That's really important because it lets them keep pressuring the opponent. As you can see, they're still able to maintain this ball in the orange team's half. Yeah, Hopeless struggling to clear this one out. Preamble getting in the way of that one now. So the rotation for better in the verse has been on point, but finally Vortex gets a dunk on one of the clears, and this ball's going to roll across the goal. That was dangerous as Stiff Wizard came flying in, but Preamble didn't panic at all. As now he has a chance on going, a great touch by Preamble, tapping that one in, giving his team a one-goal lead. This is the Preamble we know and love here at Take the Shot. So good at shooting. Look at this. He gets so much power on it. If it was any further to the side, I think that would have been savable, but... Really well done for him, taking his chances when we can get it. We saw earlier with Healthy Hamsters, or was it Healthy Hamsters, sorry, um, New Air. It was Healthy Hamsters struggling earlier to score yep. and giving up a few opportunities. Yep. You really have to take every opportunity you can to be able to win against these top-level teams. Preamble. Now on the ball again. Shut down by Super Ranjan, but it's out to, or excuse me, uh, shut down by uh, Stiff Wizard, but it went out to Wonder. Now Vortex on the ball towards the midfield. Trying to make something develop as Super Ranjan bounces that over the first defender, but Sweeper coming in for that one as Sham tries to follow this one up, tries to get the dunk. Smart play by Preamble not to get dunked there. <laughs> Spetter in reverse struggles on the wall. Cleaned up by Super Ranjan. It's hopeless. Taking a lot of long range shots right now. Needing a follow up here as Sham again tries to knock that one down, but here comes the counterattack from Better in reverse. Vortex ro rotating just in time to get to that one. It's another shot comes out from better in reverse. Not able to put that one on frame. Now Super Ranjan hitting that one up. Trying to follow this one up. It's back out to Preamble. Can he put this one? He pops it up. Here comes Wonder over the top. Can't knock it down. All three players that went up for that miss. As Popeless able to stay alive here. Now Sham trying to dribble out of his end. He does get the dunk. Still trying to follow up. Vortex popping it for Stiff Wizard. Stiff Wizard aborting that aerial as he realized he couldn't get to that one in time. Now Sham, a good shot from him. Feels like every time that guy goes up for the ball, he hits it so dang hard. 
Now it's all three for Hopeless. This goal's wide open, but Sumaranjan has no boost as you see him just drive towards the ball. Ooh, what a shot as well coming out of Preamble. Super Ron John now flicking that one up over to Preamble, trying to make something happen. He doesn't have it. Super Ron John now Wonder on the ball and rolls out to Vortex. Sham takes it away from him. Coming up to 30 seconds left here in Hopeless, down by one. They got to get something going here, Quinn. Right, really, they need to be <laughs> clearing the ball much more aggressively than they are right now. This looks like a potential opportunity, but unfortunately it doesn't pay off. I really want to see Hopeless just playing more aggressive as a whole. We see Better Inverse put so much pressure, but Hopeless, every time they seem to set up an attack, it's a long shot from so far away. Yeah. These are low percentage attempts, and they're much less likely to, to score over time. Ooh, this one's popped up by Vortex. It comes out to Stiff Wizard, and it pounces all the way back towards the Hopeless goal, and that's going to shut down any attack from Hopeless. Better in verse taking the first game of this semifinal. It's a best of three, so they're one away from punching their ticket to Amps. I mean, excuse me, the finals. The finals. We wish it was Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on your mind, really? Yeah, a little bit, you know. <laughs> Lansterdam, RLCS. Lansterdam for better in reverse, but. But really well done. Better in reverse. We had preamble coming up huge, like always. The MVP in the game, he actually had. Oh, Almost triple Stiff Wizard score, but really, Preamble, the great thing about him is that he's so good at positioning himself for for scoring opportunities. You know, he just seems to have a sixth sense for where he needs to be when shots are, or not shots, sorry, passes are coming out, when there's a teammate ready to set the ball up to him, when he sees where's the defense, how do I get this ball through the defense where that ball has to be for that to happen. He knows exactly how to position himself for that. And that's why you see a lot of goals and lost success coming out of Preamble. I think he's definitely a player to watch if you struggle to find goals or um, you can't really seem to find openings on the field. Preamble is definitely one of the best at that. And yeah. I think that's honestly can't be undervalued. And anytime you have like a whole series of players or a whole team of players who can shoot, it really it's a little, hard to deal with. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this means anything, but if we look at what just happened there in the lobby, and maybe my point could be mute here is they don't join, but I was going to say was none of them readied up. And I was thinking maybe they could be discussing a little bit of uh, tactics. Mm -hmm. or I mean, that was a tight game. That was a very close game, obviously. Yeah. Only one goal separated them. So, you know, I like to think that when teams don't immediately ready up, that they're thinking about things, they're talking about things, trying to change up their play styles, trying to say, hey, you know, definitely, Sham's going to go and try and do this, or Preamble's going to be doing this, or Super Ron John did this last game, look out for this. And I'd like to think that a lot of these teams do that. And I know some teams do, but, uh, you know, I don't. it looks like they're not joining this game, so I don't think so that's what happened. So we'll go happen. to the next one. <laughs> really, one of the biggest things that that minute is used for is it's for just taking a breather. You know, you understand, like, okay, look, yeah. we need to really take a step back, you know, think what's going wrong here. Just mm. even get up, kind of shake it all off, and then yeah. <laughs> get back into it, right? No, it's a big thing. I mean, even if it's just calming the nerves. I mean, you're in a semifinal match, and it's a big deal. So calming the nerves and just getting people all on the same page is a big deal. As Sham tries to get another quick one, a good redirect by him, but Wonder able to slow that one down and clear that one away now. What a read out of Wonder. Super Ron John gets the dunk here. See if he can do anything. Vortex misses the, the save, and that was just going to be tapped in by Wonder. I'm not quite sure how this one went through. A really good dunk, though, coming out of Super Ron John. Puts a lot of pressure on this hopeless team, and the goalie comes out so early, and I guess he must not have had boost in goal, but really well done to take, take that slow route, passing off the backboard twice before going for the shot on goal. Yes, better reverse. Trying to get back to the finals again. And if we don't count that disqualification, this would be consecutive uh, finals appearances. But Hopeless trying to change that. So they have the ball in their half now, trying to clear this one out. Super on John, keeping the pressure on. This ball bounces dangerously in front of their goal. No one there to follow up. Everyone on better in reverse rotated out. Vortex able to clear that one away. Trying to follow that one up. He doesn't connect. Super Ronjon now up for this one, dropping it down. Stiff Wizard getting it past one. Looks like an open net there for him. He's trying to go up and over. A good touch by him. Smart play, but it didn't really pan out for him. Here comes Sham. It's dangerous for better reverse. 
Vortex tries to get a piece of this one, but it's not going to be the best touch. Super Ron John trying to deal with this one in the corner. Wonder now going off the wall. Not on target as Sham comes all the way across. And if you're better in reverse, at least from what I can see already, if there was a ball up in the air, you don't want Sham on the other, the receiving right, end of it. Well, Sham has shown that he can shoot the ball very, very well so far. So better in reverse. I mean, just in general, you don't want to leave those balls floating above your net. It's so dangerous because it, once they get the shot off, the save is almost impossible. It's important to stop the pass and not the shot. So... It's better in reverse. Has a one goal lead here. We're two minutes into this match. Preamble misreading that one. Super Ranjan there to clean it up. A little bit of ping pong going back and forth here as this ball comes back to Preamble. Out to Stiff Wizard who plays this one out towards the line. A good touch around the defender. Super Ranjan popping this one up for himself. Trying to follow it up. Goes for the demo. Doesn't connect on that one. Does get the bump on Vortex though. This ball comes right out to Preamble. Puts that one away giving their Pre uh, better reverse a two goal lead. Right, Preamble shot actually going through two of the defenders. Really well placed here. Look at this positioning. See, he just has a, such a good understanding of where the ball's gonna go and he keeps it nice and low. It's so difficult because when the ball goes up high, it's much more likely to miss it, much more likely to hit the crossbar or go above it. You can't go below the ground though, right? Right. So really well done for Preamble. Just going for the high percentage, easy plays. Here comes Hopeless off the backboard, down to Vortex. Can't connect as this one goes all the way back to the Hopeless side. Barely over the goal here. This is dangerous for Hopeless. Super Ranjan getting a free shot, uncontested, off the crossbar. Going off the pinch of Wonder, almost going in there. Hopeless getting away, barely. <laughs> right, Hopeless suffered through the shooting gallery from better in reverse. Past halfway now, better in reverse. Two minutes away from going to the grand finals here, and that's another goal from Preamble. His shots are just so on point right now. They're so, so good. Even though he sees the two defenders, this definitely could have been saved, but it's so difficult when players are shooting so fast. I mean, you saw those goalies flip almost immediately, but because they have no momentum, they're not driving across the goal. It takes time, and Preamble hitting the ball very cleanly, very solidly with lots of power. It just makes it a difficult shot to save nonetheless. Better in reverse, up three goals now. Two minutes left for Hopeless. As they are down, their tournament lives, of course, on the line as they're down 1-0 in this best of three series. Here comes Sham, though. A good shot from Sham. Getting themselves on the board. Right. Preamble, actually, I think he tried to hit that ball a little softer, not as hard. It's really important that you realize when you're trying to clear the ball to a corner to buy time for your team, it's so important to keep that ball as high as possible, as floaty, maybe a little bit away from the wall. If it bounces off the wall and right back center, or right back down the sides, it's going to be more likely to be distributed to the other team. Oh, Super Ranjan bouncing that one off the crossbar. Sif Wizard eventually puts it in, it looks like. Oh, that's got to be a heartbreaker. What a hit from Super Ranjan off the crossbar. Bouncing down and Stiff Wizard just oh. trying to get underneath it as fast as he you know, could. You really can't blame him for that because he saw Super Ron John rotating back yeah. around. He was just that trying was, to panic. That was the point zero 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 five percent yeah. play. <laughs> so you can't blame him too much for that. A good play by Super Ron John nonetheless. A better reverse up three goals on a minute and a half left. Here comes Sham though. The only one on the team to have shots. Vortex plays this one in the corner. A good ball across. Here comes Ziff Wizard. Now Sham. Here comes Vortex. Sham back up for it. Hopeless not able to connect on any of those. It comes out to Stiff Wizard. Can he pop it over? He does. Looking for a follow up. No one's there. Vortex finally coming in a little bit late, but Wonder able to clear this one up and over everyone. Sham, what great touches from him. Here comes Vortex now, playing this one on. A minute left for Hopeless. They're down by three. The rotation coming back from Vortex. Stiff Wizard in the back line. Now Sham able to clear this one away, but Preamble's there to meet him. 40 seconds left for Hopeless. They got to get start getting some goals here now. Right, Hopeless seem to be trying to clear the ball by themselves every time, and that leaves them... Uh, solo, independent of each other. The, the whole team is disjointed. Oh, there's a shot from Sham, and he's keeping his team alive here with 30 seconds left. There's hopes with, <laughs> with like 15 seconds, like a little bit less than per goal. 
here to tie it up. But Sham actually with a really clean shot. But what I was trying to say is the reason we see Hopeless struggling is because Hopeless is not using their team to clear the ball. They're really just broadcasting. We're throwing the ball to that corner. Go and get it, right? And unfortunately, it's so difficult for them to follow up on that. That's why we see better in reverse just dominating the possession in this game. Better reverse, now attacking again. Stiff Wizard trying to find Sham. He does a great touch from Sham. Stiff Wizard's up for this one. Can he drop it down? But Preamble's there to meet him. Eight seconds left for Hopeless, and looks like they might not be able to do this as we're about to enter zero second time. There it is. It's all over for Hopeless as Better Reverse punches another ticket to the finals. I'm just waiting for the day they can get <laughs> this number one place. They've gotten so close. Good job to them for not being better, at least <laughs> at least making it the better inverse that we know that yeah. makes it to the finals, right? Exactly. It's a really strong team, and they're fun to watch, especially when we see the preamble. And, and honestly, Super Ron John and Wonder, both excellent yeah. players as well. Uh, unfortunately... Um, their orange team today, Sham Vortex, Stiff Wizard, just yeah, hopeless. Not able to find a find a couple wins here, but Sham, look at that, six shots, two goals coming out from him. Just all the offensive pressure for, from Sham alone, really. And I mean, it really showed. I kept saying his name. He had all these shots, and he had all these uh, uh, powerful shots yep, too. He got yep. a lot of power on the ball, and unfortunately, not enough from him and his team to. I think. Like I was saying earlier, they just had so much trouble getting the ball around the field and really distributing.